Hey guys, it's Keenan Player. Today, um, it's not really news related, um, but these have been popping up at, I guess, certain stores. My sources don't say specifically where at. Um, I went to my local GameStop and they said uh, I shouldn't be out for a while. But you never know, sometimes these come out before even their release date they're supposed to come out. So, I thought I'd share this with you guys to be, you know, something you guys might want to check out. Um, the Kingdom Hearts 3 Wave 1 Fungal Pops are starting to pop up. Um, we got regular uh, regular Sora Kingdom Hearts 3. We got Soldier Heartless. Uh, I pre-ordered that one myself. It's my actually my favorite Heartless. Um, we got Donald, Goofy, and Sora Monster Inc. versions. Um, yeah, but then popping up uh, lately in places. So I thought this would be something nice to show you guys that you guys would be interested in. To see if you might be interested in getting them yourself. Or if for you Kingdom Hearts Fungo Pop um, collectors. Um, the Donald one um, actually looks really well done. I was very surprised. Because um, some of the pops that they had for the Kingdom Hearts 2 wave. I didn't like how they, did, they were designed exactly. Because the paint job looked sloppy. It didn't look well done. But these are surprisingly actually look like they're really well done. Funko really upped their game on these ones. And then you got the Goofy one. The Goofy one also looks really well done. The eyes, um, they almost look like they're stickers, but I, they could be paint also. Um, they look really, it looks really well done. And then you got the Soldier Heartless, which I was surprised because I was expecting it was going to be a little off, or the paint job would be messed up too, like the, again, like the little bit of the Kingdom Hearts 2 wave. But surprisingly, it looks really well done in the paint and all of it, like it looks really well done. And I'm actually happy that I pre-ordered this one too. Um, the other one is the Sora Monsters Inc. one, which actually looks really well done. Maybe I might get this one myself. Um, the only thing is that I see on this is that they have the Keyblade uh, from the Monsters Inc. world in his hand, but unfortunately you cannot see it because it's blocked. They should, I think they should have put it in his other hand so you'd be able to see the, the Keyblade better. But you can see just a little bit of it at the very bottom right there in the middle center bottom area um, but this one also looks very well done as well and then you got the regular Sora uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 pop this one also looks well done the hair though kinda looks like it might be the same type of texture like the paint job as they did before and I didn't exactly like it because it looks sloppy-ish like they were like little paint like smears or blobs or whatever but but it's hard to tell so I wouldn't just judge just yet the only problem I see on this one is that the socket at the chin of the pop looks like it's coming off but I don't think all of them are gonna be like that I think it's just this one it's just uh, the pops I think are connected some pops are connected by like a socket piece right there but this one actually looks well done the paint job of the clothes actually don't look you know all messed up and like, uh, how do I put it? Um, they don't look smeared. They look like a, a really badly done. It actually looks pretty well done, which I'm very surprised and happy about. Again, that they really up their game about these. But I thought, you know, again, I thought that you guys would enjoy this. I wanted to share this with you guys. You know, if, if see if you're, you know, hey, maybe you wanted to get some. You want to know what they look like. See how well of a job they did with these ones compared to the other ones. And just a reminder, the, there's going to be a Kingdom Hearts 3 New York City Comic Con exclusive to Walmart Sora Guardian Forum. It comes out, I think, on the 5th, online only. It's supposedly not going to be in stores. Um, there's a heads up on that one to let you guys know. So if you're interested and you wanted to get all of these, you're going to want to go for that one this um, month on the 5th. It's a Guardian, Sora, uh, Guardian Form Sora, exclusive to Walmart. Um, now, the thing that is interesting, um, they don't show all of the announced Kingdom Hearts 3 pops. I don't know if they're going to be part of Wave 2 or uh, the others are going to be exclusive. They're supposed to have Riku, Kairi, Mickey, and Vanitas. And those are the other ones they're supposed to have. So maybe, they come, maybe those will either be in a Wave 2 or those are going to be exclusives as well. 
Um, I, in my guess, I think Vanitas is going to be the Monsters Inc. Vanitas with the cloak and he's holding the Monsters Inc. canister. And I'm going to call it, I'm going to say it's going to probably be a, a lunchbox exclusive. That's just my guess. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, <laughs> enjoyed this episode, video, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Um, if you haven't hit the like button yet, please give it a, a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Um, if you want faster news and updates, please follow me on my Twitter. My link to my Twitter will be in the description below. I'm very active on my Twitter. And then next, until next time, guys, may your heart be your guiding key. See ya.